Hey guys, how's it going? This is Autobot JCB with another How to Transform video. In today's video, this one's going to be kind of a continuation of my Transformer Cybertron Metroplex video and my Cybertron Menasaur video because I realized uh, I actually read a comment uh, in one of my videos that saying that I forgot to turn these two into their build modes or work modes when I did their when I did their individual videos. Uh, in addition to that, I also realized that I forgot to do a, a little combination thing that Menasaur can do with his Minicon Heavy Load. So we're going to kind of just fill in the gaps here and just uh, get those uh, pieces all figured out. Uh, that way I can keep you guys entertained. All right. So uh, as you guys he can see here, I've got Menasaur, or <laughs> I've got Metroplex, Menasaur, uh, Drill Bit, and Heavy Load. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with Men with with Metroplex, and then we will jump over to Menasaur. So for right now, we're going to move Menasaur off to the side, and Heavy Load off to the side, and then we'll bring in Drill Bit and Metroplex. All right. So for Metroplex's build mode, uh, work mode, whatever you want to call it, what we're going to do, uh, in fact, Drill Bit, I want you off to the side because I don't need you right now. All right, what we're going to do first for build mode is we're going to go ahead and remove Metroplex's battle axe because we don't need this right at the moment. We'll set it off to the side because we will be using it later. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take these two connectors right here and we're going to disconnect them from their, from their housing just like that because now what we're going to do is we're going to pick up uh, Metroplex. We're going to just... Uh, straighten this section of him right here, just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this whole section, whoops, just like this, bring this all the way up, just like this. Uh, <laughs> this stuff is not easy to do, I'm sorry. And then what we'll do is we'll bring his arms around. And if you want, you can separate it separate his leg or his legs whatever um but anyway there is the build mode set up for metroplex now one thing you can do if you want uh in regards to his head is you can either you can flip those panels down and then spin his head around just like this or if you want you can kind of have him with the uh darth vader looking mask uh in order to make him look like he's uh, got like a safety mask on or something like that. And then what you can do is you can actually, you can take the battle axe. We'll go ahead and straighten it right there and right there. So now we got this. Now you can either put this in his hand or my personal opinion, uh, my personal favorite is I actually like to put it on over his head. And what you'll do is you'll actually put it on this, pe uh, this peg instead of this peg. And we'll just put that right on top here. Oh, get that pegged in just like that. And we'll just fold that down behind him. <laughs> uh, interesting setup, but that's that's just kind of how I do my build mode, guys. Um, you don't have to do it like that. Uh, but frankly, you can do it however you want. I personally like to have it like this because then he can have his hands free. If like a big boulder falls, he can catch it or something like that. Um, so that's my uh, version of M Metroplex's build mode. All right. So and then one other thing you can do is if you come over to back here, you've got the claw right here. What we'll do is we'll take his minicon and we'll just set him on there. Just like that, just for kind of mini con storage. Uh, or what he can do is you can spit, you can spin the battle axe around, and that way he has a drill instead of just a saw. But anyway, so there is Metroplex build mode. Yeah, my version of Metroplex build mode. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move him off to the side, and now we're gonna bring back in Menasaur and Heavy Load. All right, so there we have camera pointed down sorry guys oh, there we go just like that there we go there's menasaur and heavy load now like i said i realized that i completely forgot to show you the combination mode uh when i did my uh menasaur video 
Uh, what I'll do is I'll show you that here and then we'll show you build mode. So what we're gonna do first is we're just gonna take heavy load and just turn him upwards just like that. That's literally all you do with him because this will actually become a kind of a wedge piece that goes in the middle of, of Menasaur's blade. So for heavy load, that's literally all you do, just like that. All right, so now what we'll do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna disconnect right here and right here. So we'll go ahead and disconnect this. We will swing this out a little bit and rotate his arm a little bit just like that. And we'll come over here, disconnect it and rotate the arm and spin it just like that. Because now what we'll do is we will go ahead and open up the, bl the blade here and you'll notice that he has these ridges on each side of the on each side right here. What these do is they actually line up with that ridge right there on the side of heavy load. Uh, right next to the minicon symbol, you'll see that little ridge edge right there. What we'll do is we will line that up with that spot right there, which will more or less solidify the connection. And then what we'll do is we'll Connect it right there, just like that. All right, so now he has this configuration right here for the blade. Now, in regards to his uh, arms, there's a couple, I've, I've read there's a couple different things you can do to make sure the wheels sit on the ground right. Um, I just basically guess when it comes to stuff like that. Ugh. but what we'll do is we'll put that just like that and basically there is Menasaur in his I'm not I guess bulldozer mode I don't really know what you call this combination I just know that I think it's kind of cool that he can add another wet another like extension onto the blade so he can plow more stuff do whatever um it is, you kind of just make of it what you will, but it's still pretty cool. I like it, and I just love when they add little tidbits of details like that. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to come back in here, and we're going to go ahead and take heavy load out. Now, getting him out can be a little tricky. Obviously, mine is not because it's behaving for once. We'll just go ahead and disconnect heavy load out of there. And we'll go ahead and we're actually going to transform heavy load really quick. So just like with my uh, other video that I had him in, we're going to go ahead and disconnect those pins off the underside of the bucket. Bring that section down right there. Bring this section down right here for his arm. Bring this section down for his arm. And then that little green wedge right there. We'll just flip forward with our fingernail and we have heavy load. All right, we'll set him off to the side because he can actually work for the build mode setup. All right, so now for Menasaur's build mode, get that closed right there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come right here. We're gonna just do that. We're not gonna straighten the knee like we do for his uh, transforming into robot mode. We're gonna come around the other side, do the same thing. So he kind of has curved legs just like that. And unlike robot mode, we are not going to spin his legs around and we are not going to ro uh, move these pieces down to form his waist. So what we'll do next is we'll just bring these down just like this. Just like that. And just like, just like that. And then of course we'll separate, oops, hang on guys. We'll separate these pieces just like this, and we'll just fold them back a little bit. And that's really it for build mode. Um, he's really just a shorter version of himself, but like I was saying with heavy load, you can actually open this compartment right here and put him in here. And he could be like the operator for the drills or whatever you want to call it. Um, I do wish they could have done a little bit more with build mode for these guys, but frankly, I think they're kind of cool. Uh, I guess having the little compact mode helps them get into more cramped spaces, but it is uh, it is what it is. But anyways, so there's uh, Menasaur, 
and heavy load. And we'll bring Metroplex back in. All right, so there we go. That is the 2005 uh, Transformer Cybertron Menasaur and Metroplex in their build mode with the little appearance by heavy load and drill bit back there. If you guys have any other ideas for other Transformers you'd like me to try and do, feel free to comment below. Even hit that like and subscribe button and hit that notification bell, and I will do what I can to help you out in the future. And until then, bye.